Hello, my name is Ari, and you may have seen some of my videos on snowblower and power kits, which is a great idea and is an improvement to any two-stage two -stage snowblower. I'm actually doing this video on some uh, accessories and gadgets, which I think are great products, um, well-designed, easy to use, and a good deal. Um, because there are a lot of other similar products out there reviewed on YouTube, which are raved about, and I don't think even compare even close to some of the things that I'm, I'm talking about or the, the things that I have, I have uh, found at better deals or better prices um, because there are you know, other companies selling the same product coming from the same manufacturer for a lot less money uh, instead of under a name brand. Anyway, um, what I have here today are, are a keyboard and a Bluetooth mouse and this is a, a mini keyboard I'm reviewing and there were a lot of reviewers online talking about how they have the smallest keyboard and mouse combos and so forth, which they do not. Um, there are ones that are smaller, such as the one that I have here. Um, a lot of those many keyboards they've been reviewing are rectangular shaped, and they're maybe uh, a foot, foot wide or 10 inches wide, um, or even a little shorter, and only a couple inches high, maybe about this big. And the thing about them is they're inconvenient to hold and inconvenient to use. Um, they've got to be ergonomics and convenience in, in using something. I've bought a lot of products and because it may have had a lot of gadgets or features, but because it wasn't convenient to hold or easy to use or felt comfortable with my hands, um, I returned it. I just wasn't going to use it. Um, it just wasn't for me and I won't settle for something that isn't well designed. I always look out for something better that is more comfortable to use. Um, this keyboard here is much better designed and I'll explain why. The rectangular keyboards, um, a lot of them, if you hold them in your two hands, they're kind of thin and you sort of have to squeeze your hand tighter against them. So it kind of bites into your hand and feels uncomfortable when you're holding the edge of it. Um, I don't know if a lot of them you can't even reach all the uh, keys on the keyboard with your thumbs because they're, they're still too wide for that. Um, and then if you're holding it with one hand, you're holding all the force of the keyboard while you type with the other. And because the keyboard's wide, it's yanking against your hand with the leverage and putting a lot of pressure against your palm. It's uncomfortable to, to hold. Um, and some of those reviewed that I commented on, too, have very clicky keys that you have to push harder and they go each time you press them rather than having a little bit softer feel but still give you a, a response when you press the keys. Um, and it could also just not being, you know, able to, you have to rest them against something really when you type. You can't just hold them in midair as easily without, you know, feeling comfortable in your hand being thin and having to really squeeze them. This keyboard here is almost designed like a game controller. Um, if you look at the, the thickness of it, the back, it's actually rounded. Um, and this is where it holds the AA batteries. It uses one in this side and one in this side. By the way, this is the SMK Link. And it's the model um, VP6364. Now they have a couple different models of this. Um, they have one that has a joystick for the mouse instead of a touchpad like this does. And I don't think that joystick is as easy to use because as you use it, you know, only a slight push and the, and the cursor drags across the screen quickly and it's hard to get the accuracy. Um, this one, I think, with the touchpad is much better. The touchpad has a good responsive feel. You, you know where it goes. Um, but again, with, with the design, with the body, the way it's curved, um, when you hold it in your hand, your hand wraps around it and doesn't have to squeeze really tightly, which is, is a more uncomfortable feel. Your hand is more comfortable like this, and you can actually get the leverage on it. You can hold it easily without it, it biting into your hand because your hand wraps around it. Um, you can actually hold it with both hands, and you can actually type with your thumbs, and you can reach all of the keyboard. Um, the keys are, are nice. They're not real clicky and hard to press. They got a soft, rubbery feel, and they give you a response. Um, it's got a Windows button. It's got you know your your a bigger space bar. Um, it does have a, a caps lock button that lights up. Also a function button that lights up. Um, there's actually special keys along here above the top which are designed for special functions um, for all kinds of different things and I'm not sure if you can set them or not. I've never really gone to use all the extras but um, it's got volume here. It actually for your multimedia uses which is what I use it for in the bedroom um, it's actually got uh, stop, play, pause, track advance, and track reverse, which is nice, especially for XBMC in that you have the stop button because some keyboards have the play, pause, and track advance keys, but they don't have the stop, 
which means you've got to use the mouse to go to the stop on the control screen in XBMC. Here you've got a stop that's separate. Some keyboards, like I said, have these keys but without the stop, which I think is a mistake. There also is your up, down, left, and right, uh, which can turn into your page up and down and home and end buttons. Uh, this up, down, left, and right is also nice if you're using multimedia in XBMC because you can do a lot of the windows, the, the menu option controls in XBMC solely with the up, down, left, and right. Um, so you have those keys on a simple little wheel. Your click buttons uh, magically are on the top, which is really neat because when you hold it, it's sort of like they're fire buttons. You can easily uh, scroll, do your, uh, your mouse cursor movement, and then click with your left finger for your left click, and your right click is right here. Um, it comes with a transmitter dongle, and it actually comes with a little uh, receptacle in the back here where you can stick the, the transmitter into so you don't lose it. If, let's say, you want to take it from room to room or you want to take it with you. Um, it does have an on-off switch here in the back and also your ID sync button when you want to sync it with the computer. Um, to save battery life, it does go into sleep mode. Um, and it wakes up fairly quickly. You press it, and uh, it's actually using my computer. It takes a couple seconds to wake up once it's gone and sleep. Um, so it saves your battery that way. Um, so I think it's a, it's a, it's the best handheld keyboard out there. Um, the rectangular ones that I had, you know, they're too small to be a full size, so you can type normally. But they're, you know, you can't they're too big to use like this is where you can sit here with two hands and type freely with your thumbs without having to hold it and still lean it, set it against the surface and type and hunt and peck so it, it's actually better to have a keyboard like this than one that's in between that's not a full size and my alternative is in my dining room I have a full size keyboard that's real thin and has a touchpad on it also which is better where I want a full size but the in-between keyboards those rectangular ones I just think are not as well designed I don't think they're as ergonomic my other mention about products here is um, a version of the mouse or, or the same mouse which is known as the Radtech BT600 and if you're looking for a, a Bluetooth mouse and I have always looked for a Bluetooth mouse, and some other reviewers mentioned this as well, because with Bluetooth, providing your computer or laptop has Bluetooth already, you don't have to worry about a dongle. Um, the thing with a dongle is when you have it plugged into your laptop, if you're carrying it around, the dongle sticks out a little bit. Even on some of the new dongles, it sticks out even just a little bit. But it can get hit, it can get broken, it can get knocked off. Um, it puts wear and tear on your Bluetooth port. Um, the whole thing about Bluetooth is, is, is it's a, a wireless communication system, just like any of the other wireless keyboards and mice, but you don't need dongles if your device already has it, so why have to use a dongle? They should make more Bluetooth mice, in my opinion, and more Bluetooth accessories. Uh, but they don't. They make them where you have to use their dongle. Um, anyway, getting back to the mouse, this is an identical mouse to the BT600 from Radtech. It's the same exact mouse. It's made, for, obviously, from the same manufacturer. It's just sold under um, a no name. Um, so Radtech obviously buys it from the same company. It is actually a laser mouse. It boasts uh, 1,600 dots per inch, although I think they say it might have less than that. It might have 1,000, which is still very good. Um, again, it's laser. Um, it uses two AA batteries, so you can use regular mice, uh, regular batteries in it. You can also use rechargeables. Um, the greatest thing about this mouse that I have not seen with any other rechargeable mouse is that when you charge it, you plug it in with a mini USB cable in the front of the mouse. It doesn't have to go in a dock. So you can literally use this mouse while it's charging. You have the cord come out the front of the mouse and you can use it normally while it's charging with a mini USB cable and it comes with one but you can of course get those anywhere and a lot of times someone will have them if you go somewhere and you don't have it with you um, it has a nice rubbery coating and again if you look at it closely you may see that it's the same rubbery coating the same patterns as the Radtech it is the same mouse um, this button right here if you're curious this is a power on off button and it is actually recessed so you won't accidentally hit it when you're holding the mouse. But it gives the ability to turn the mouse on and off, and also the power button won't accidentally get hit. Um, I actually wanted these for my laptop for use in my truck, and I leave the mouse on my dashboard. And I wanted something that would have an on-off uh, button or switch, so I could turn it off so it wouldn't get, as it joggles around on the dashboard, it would keep turning on, and it would waste the batteries. So I wanted something I, I could turn on and off, um, but wouldn't accidentally get turned on and off, and the little switch wouldn't break or get hit 
which is the case with a lot of times the switches, power switches when they're underneath. This one is on top, it's recessed, it's a nice big push, push in, push out, click button. Um, this mouse has a very nice ergonomic feel. It's smaller than a full size, but it's not as small as a mini. So I find minis are too small. This one actually is a good size. I have big hands, and this one's actually a good size. It's comfortable. It can be used left or right handed. It actually comes with two extra buttons, which a lot of mice don't have on the side, that are good for your page forward, page back features when browsing, which is great. Um, with usually most of the software, and you can get a generic software online, you can program these to do anything you want. Um, it has a scroll wheel here, which is not a left or right, it's only a two way, but it does click. So the scroll wheel will actually serve as a click button also, so you can program that to do something as well. And then of course you have your left and right click. The mice has a nice, you can see my uh, laptop is just, just jumped there. Uh, this has a nice left to right feel, a left and right uh, click button feel. These buttons have a nice feel, the, cl uh, the click wheel is a nice feel, and the scroll has a nice tactile feel, rubbery feel, and everything. I mean, the mouse, I, I love it. It feels great. It tracks well. Uh, it's been durable. I have one sitting in my truck. This is the other one I keep in the house for my laptop, so when I bring my laptop in the truck and in the house, um, I have my mouse there either wet place. I don't have to remember to bring it back and forth. Um, the deal with this generic one is you can find it on eBay incredibly cheap. Radcheck charges more for it if you buy it under, under, online under the Radtech name. If you look online, I don't know if you can see here, this is on eBay. You want to type in BT600 together, not, not with a space in between, BT600 Bluetooth mouse. And you want to select uh, search title and description. And that's the only way you'll get this mouse. And uh, you see it right here, $22.99, including shipping. Um, at the time I got it, it was $19.95, including shipping. But, uh, you know, it's gotten even, uh, you know, the price varies a little bit. But that's much cheaper than the, uh, you know, than the Radtech version. It's the same exact mouse. Um, so, again, these are just two things that, that I recommend highly if you're looking for gadgets, things to know about. Um, they're great products. Um, they're, oh, by the way, the SMK keyboard that I was talking about here, um, you can get on eBay. Um, here it's for $72.72, including shipping. I actually did find one auction of it for uh, $50, including shipping. And they even have one here in silver, but it's more expensive. Um, and like I said, they have different versions of it, but I don't recommend um, the one with the, uh, the little... Um, joystick because they're not as easy to use um, but you know it's a great mini keyboard like I said these other mini keyboards I don't think they're as convenient they're, they're not as easy to to hold and use um, I think this SMK is the best mini keyboard out there especially for multimedia use it's easier to use it's easier to hold and convenient to use um, those, those bigger rectangular ones I think are just more awkward um, so definitely check out either of these products. If you need a Bluetooth mouse, I think this is the best one out there. Um, it doesn't have the, the left to right scroll wheel, the four-way, but it has the two extra buttons, which a lot of them don't. Uh, you can charge it while using it with a USB cord, which virtually none of them I've seen have. Um, you can use double A's, uh, you know, or regular double A's if you want. Um, On-off switch on the top, good feel, rubbery coating all over it. Uh, that's really convenient. It's kind of this sort of suede -ish feeling rubber uh, that gives you a good grip and a good feel. And it's a good size. And again, you can use it left or right hand operation. It's got a good shape to it. Better than a review I saw of a Kensington. Um, the Kensington had a left to right wheel, but it didn't have the side buttons. And it didn't mention anything about a quick wheel either. So these are three more buttons you might have that you might not have on others. Um, and the ability to charge it while you're using it. Um, I'm not even sure you might even be able to use this without batteries with the cable connect, USB cable connected. Um, and the, uh, the wheel lights up there when you're, you're using it, sort of an indicator when it's, uh, it's connected and it's working. Um, anyway, check them out. Definitely, if you have any questions, certainly shoot me an email. Uh, there'll be some other products that I'll probably want to put online and mention that I just think are, are great products. Um, while I'm at it, real quick before my time limits reach to 15 minutes here, here is the other keyboard that I use. It's a GearHead uh, keyboard. It's nice and thin. I've gotten it for as cheap as $50. It's got a touch pad, and it's not too wide because it doesn't have the necessary numeric keyboard. And it's got your stop and all your music controls and everything on it. So anyway, thanks for watching, and... Um, 
Uh, watch my videos next time. Bye.